Hi, today I want to try and explain to you how I'm going to get all the various different wood blocks to line up um, neatly to make a fluent, beautifully aligned finished print. So I need to look at the Japanese registration system with you, um, which is called Kento. And to start at the beginning, you'll remember if you've seen the previous film about this master tracing, that I was very clear about being precise and having an accurate two centimetre margin down the left hand side and the bottom of the print if you were right handed and down the right hand side and across the bottom of the print if you were left handed. So let me just show you on something simple. So here I have Turn it the right. So here I have a tracing of an apple, and here's my two centimeter margin down the side and across the bottom. And I'm going to flip that apple over so that now, I'm, when I transfer it to the woodblock for printing, when I print it, the print will be aligned uh, correctly to the drawing and will come out the same way that I've drawn it rather than a mirror image. So I've reversed the tracing and what that does is it gives me a right hand corner and I can start marking out my registration. So here is one that I drew out earlier and the registration system is called, as I said, Kento. And when I say Kento, what I mean are these marks here. And what I've done is I've put my tracing paper down onto the wood and I've actually traced out my design but using carbon paper and I'll show you tracing through in a different um, video and I've marked the kento using the edge of the tracing paper which again I'll go into in more depth so as I mark out my various blocks I mark out my registration and I'm going to cut those into Think of them as little shelves to balance the printing paper on. So here is one where I have a block cut and printing and here are the kento. So those lines that I drew have been cut into little shelves and when I come to print my printing paper is going to sit in those little shelves and be held at the right place. If you look you see we've got um, a corner, um, a sort of reverse L shape there, shelf and then another shelf here. So the job of the L shape is this cut here, this shelf here, shows how far along the piece of paper needs to be to be in the right place. And these two shelves here hold it at the right height so the print is in the right place. So the beauty of the Japanese system, and I'm gonna move on to a piece of wood here, which is all, oh, let me show you first of all. So here is a print, and this is a print that I did as part of a series that I've been working on about Yorkshire uh, and the North Yorkshire Moors. And this is Billsdale up in Yorkshire, and it's a Japanese woodblock of many layers um, and many textures. And that's required a lot of blocks. So let me show you the piece of wood, or one of the pieces of wood. So here I've got um, a set of blocks. So the beauty of the Japanese registration uh, and printing system, and this is going to be very alien to those of you who, like me, come from a lino cut background or a Western woodblock background, is that you're going to print with brushes and not rollers. So you're not a dressing the whole piece of the material when you come to print, you can be very specific about which area you ink up. And because you control which area you ink up, it means you can have lots of blocks on the same piece of material. You don't have to clear away all the material to print. You only need to clear away a trench around it. And you can also use both sides of the material to cut, certainly with these plywoods. So here I've got, what have I got, one, two, three or four blocks, and you can see I've got a registration a kento here, I've got one going on up there, I think there are only, so there are more than, there's more than one block 
on that registration there. And then if I go back to this side, I've got quite a lot of random little blocks, uh, random little kentos and blocks across the, the piece of wood. So it's a very efficient and thrifty way of using your materials. And in the next films, I'm going to start doing tracings and cutting kentos and mapping things out. So it'll all become um, much more clear as I move on. But I just wanted to, in this film to give you a taste of how the kento works. So I hope that's been helpful and I hope you'll join me for the next film in the series.